Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome to The Shrouded Isle. A neat little game that I saw a little while ago and was recently just offered a key for. It actually came out just the other day compared to when I'm recording this. And basically, you are the high priest of a cult-type religion thing, and you get to make human sacrifices and manage all kinds of crazy stuff as you prepare for the coming of your dark... Possibly Eldritch Abomination-y type god. Let's jump on in, shall we? Alright. 497 years ago, our founders saw that humanity would perish. Except for the worthy. Our lord will return in glory to reward the faithful. Yet there are sinners among us in our community. As the high priest, I must select a sinner to sacrifice every season. Three years until Judgment Day. If we are free from sin, he will save us from this suffering. Can I get an amen? I don't know, I thought that sounded... <laughs> Maybe that was a little too much. Alright, what do we got here? So let's let's get a, a jump right on here in, in here and figure out everything here. Let's see here. So we got... Let's see here. We got our dissatisfied people. Our neutral people. Satisfied, satisfied, and neutral. Okay, so these are like all the different families. Gotcha. So you have ignorance. 50 of 100. Destroy forbidden records to erase the sinful past. Gotcha. So that's like, I guess, like your thing. That's what you push. Improved by childlike, dull, practical, superstitious, uneducated. Hindered by artist, curious, imaginative, and linguist. Okay, so looking solely at that, basically what I'm seeing here is basically you want to... Presumably manage each faction. If they fall below this bar, that's when they get angry. And by faction, I mean like each family on this island. And if one gets too far, then they probably like take control and stuff. And each one seems to have a different uh, way of showing divorce, uh, devotion. Like these guys want to, want to, you know, get rid of the past. Just ignore it. Pretend it didn't happen. These guys, hard work. These guys discipline, resist all worldly temptations, penitence, you know, you know, hurt yourself or something in order to show that off. Discover heretics hiding in our mist. All right, so we got things that do good, do bad, and we have a letter right here. Here's our cathedral. So what? This is probably our tutorial. Let's, or maybe not. Vicar Efferson argues that priests and penitents shouldn't have to pay for their food as it's used for Chernabog's glory. Matron Kegney says such a policy would leave her farmers in policy or in poverty. All right, so I I see. So we we can basically piss off one family or the other. Discounted rate, or pay the farmers, huh? Hmm. Well, yeah, we'll we'll go with this option. Alright, so what did this do for us? Vicar Efson leaves in a huff, muttering about the greedy Kegney. Discipline plus five, obedience plus five. The Effersons lose a little bit of approval. Gotcha. Alright, so we got that going for us. Mailbox is empty. So let's see here. These guys are satisfied right now. Uh, the Kegney own the farmlands, providing sustenance to the village and hosting book burnings. Well, isn't that fun? Let's see. We have, so zero inquiries remaining over here. All right, so we can chat to uh, these other fellows. I gotcha. Or I could click on them. Let's see. Even insects must eat. Okay, so we can see people. Oh, I gotcha. We want to figure out people's traits so we can figure out who we have to sacrifice each season. I gotcha. Oh, we could even rename people. We could do something here where we like... Hmm. I should get like a list of subscriber names and then we could do something cool like that. All right, so we can't do any inquiries on these people so we can't learn about them. Penitent with a question. All right, so that's... That is... We don't know for sure. And you are unrepentant. I see. Penitent, penitent. All right, all right. Appoint advisor. Let's see. Kind of picking at random. All right, begin the season. What do we learn? A new month begins. It is March. All right. Let's see here. Uh, disciplined... You have a plan for a new village regime. All right. Uh, you got this guy. Impressed with my leadership. All right, that's good. And uh, where, where's the Kegneys? Probably want to bump the Kegneys a little bit here. You know, because they're a little bit upset with us. 
And you're neutral. You're all. I mean, you're already satisfied, but we might as well. Might as well, right? All right. Let's see here. Average outcome. All right. Found an old world book. Undisciplined. Ooh. Late to every advice. Tisk tisk, Yaromir. Gonna have to get rid of you, sir. All right. Confiscated some goods. That's also good. All right. We're getting lots of virtue going on here. I guess. Discovered to be a crony. Ah, so we know. Now, crony, I assume, means that you're awesome. And an unknown impact. Oh, dear. I, I wasn't really paying attention, so I didn't really see how that was going to work. All right. Investigate it. Okay, Susan's vice had a, an unknown impact. Again, also wasn't really paying attention to that. All right, now I'm, an, I'm getting this a little. Okay. Okay, you went down a bit. You went up a bit. All right. We'll want to pay closer attention to that in the future. Make sure we get a real good idea of... Alright, let's see here. So, you're satisfied, you're neutral. Let's, uh, let's keep the same... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Crony. Obedience plus 15. Uh, hmm. Well, I'll keep you, because you guys are kind of... You guys are still kind of angry. Your family's already satisfied, so let's, uh... Let's have our crony here. That'll probably work out. Okay, great outcome. We burned a bunch of books. Awesome. That was fun. I mean, a good old-fashioned book burning. Nothing wrong with that. Yarmir is self-loathing. Weeping and gnashing teeth for no known sin. All right, more penitence. That's probably good. And Yarmir is still late. Damn it, Yarmir. God, you're so useless. All right, confiscated some goods. More... For Ooh, forbidden desserts and fine cloth. That's a that's good. All right, you're. Let's see, lacking fervor, huh? Interesting, interesting. Let's see, brings tea and gives me a foot massage. Yes, jolly good. All right, so this is another way we can learn about people's people's uh, traits. That's good to know. All right. All right, average outcome. Uh, skipping many... Oh, that's pretty good. And your disobedience, though, that's that's problematic. Which is kind of funny, because you're actually bumping obedience, but you're also possibly lowering it. Alright, let's see how everyone liked this. Okay, so you're up, you're down, you're up, you're still neutral. You're also still neutral. Alright. So I assume we... If we can... We're probably never going to be able to get, like, all of these into, like, maximum, like, super... Super mode... But, uh, you never know. I mean, we're gonna keep Cadwell, obviously. Uh, we'll keep a little bit of... Oh, no, this is interesting. Oh, it's because you guys like obedience, so that'll, like, really bump you up. I gotcha. Uh, a bit more book burning, a bit more... A bit more of that. All right. No questions asked, you say. I like it. All right. It's not bad. We're learning more about these people. That's always good. All right. I mean, yeah. Your self-loathing disturbs me, sir. Excellent. We've seized some more forbidden goods, which are, you know, totally not going to appear in my room at any time. Yep. Ah, fresh tea and foot massages. Mmm, good stuff. I like it. All right. Dutifully whip the sinful, huh? I like your style. Ooh, my. You do know too much, though, so that's, uh... Apparently a little, a little bit dangerous. All right, so you're going up, you're going down, you're up, you're up, you went, you went down. I thought you were supposed to go up. Err, because of our disobedient people. All right, the season's end draws near. A sacrifice must be made to protect the village. Oh, I have to actually sacrifice one of, oh. Uh, let's see here. Who do I get rid of? Hmm. Well. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of you, Susan. Let's see here. Hmm. Conflicted. Ah, uh, let's see. Villagers won't find the sacrifice very inspiring. Oh, oh so we actually have to know... Oh, I see. I see, so... Alright, so I... So, this guy... We know he's complacent. 
I mean, we know he's a crony. Let's see here. They'll be horrified because of his virtue. But they'll get fervor because of his minor vice. Oh, the crony is a major virtue. And this is only a minor vice. And his transgressions are forgivable. Okay. How about you? Major virtue, uncertain vice. Is every one of your virtues... Alright, so we want someone who's questioned. I guess we'll go with you. Alright, goodbye. Gonna piss off the Blackborns, but whatever. Alright. Yub, shub, nigger, aff, glub, glub, wub, wub. And something like that. Alright, through sacrifice, thy will be done. We sacrifice the life of Susan in the name of Chernabog and the good of our people. Our condolences to the Blackborns. Unjust Sacrifice House Blackborn is... Oh, you know what? I just realized I, I'm i missing this. This going up is the, uh... The... the our, um... Our traits, not the actual... Loyalty of these guys. They're actually pretty angry, though. So, you know, we gotta... Gotta be a little bit concerned about that. Let's see. The night before the new season, a whisper caresses your dreams. My faithful servant, I await your devotion. Encourage discipline, denial of worldly pleasures. The scholar, give him to me. Okay, so we gotta find this scholar person, huh? Whoa, low, oh yeah, we have low discipline. Too many villagers are discarding the rituals. I must enforce discipline by the end of the season. Gotcha, House Blackborn is defying my authority. I must appease them this season or risk revolt. I see. All right. Let's, uh... I have no inquiries, huh? All right, let's appoint, uh, Vlad... Hmm. Hmm. Maybe that, uh, maybe that tells... Oh, we also have a letter. Let's see here. Dasha Cadwell arrives, her belly swollen with child. She is worried the child may turn out like her, with all her sins and flaws. You're a girl? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see it. For some reason, I thought you were a guy. As a crony. That adds a whole new layer to the fact that you are constantly serving me, or, uh, serving me tea and giving me foot massages. Interesting. Let's see. Encourages discipline. Give the child to the vicar. Ask if she has something in particular to repent. Well, we know everything about you, though, so we don't need to do that. I mean, the Effersons will like it if we... We give it to the child. Our discipline is good. Hmm. Ah, we'll go with that. Extra discipline. Nice. Aha! Bogdan's the scholar! I see. Interesting. Interesting. So, I assume you're the guy we have to sacrifice. Now, unfortunately, Bogdan... Oh, no. Bogdan's a Cadwell. Alright, so we can... The gods have told us to, to take him out, so, you know, we'll do that. Alright, so it's Lord Cadwell. Alright, I'll skip ahead to the end of the season, we'll see how this one turns out for us. Alright, the sacrifice arrives, and it's the Scholar. Who's the Scholar? The Cadwell. Alright, yes, purging of this sinner, it's a major vice. Yes, yes. All right. They'll grudgingly submit to the. All right. Sacrifice them. To the glory of God and so forth. Blood for the blood god. Shub wub dub a lub. Wub a lub a lub. Never words. We'll get to the real hardcore stuff later. All right. Excellent, excellent. Okay. All right. The night before the new season, a whisper caresses your dreams. My most beloved, you struggle so pleasingly. Encourage ignorance, purity of mind and soul. The teller of lies, give her to me. Woo. All right. So we got to find someone who tells lies, you say. You're all rowing curious. We can't be having that now, can we? Let's see here. Dear Mayor, Svant... Uh, yeah, Svant Yosefka has been seen with a stolen emerald necklace belonging to Hetty Kegney. I demand that you deliver the appropriate punishment to a miscreant such as this before thieves overrun us. Alright. 
We have our anger of the Yosefkas. We interrogate her ourselves. All right, I'll do this. Savant quickly confesses to a problem of kleptomania and promises never to steal again. They're stunned. It's marked her for death. Woo! Well, you know, except for the fact that we're totally trying to find the teller of lies. Aha! We found the liar right away. It's Hannah. It's Hannah. Liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. And also soon to be flesh, bone, and muscle on fire. All right, the time has come again. It's time to burn some people. And we are telling today we are burning the liar. Yes. Inspired to greater penitence through the purging. And they'll grudgingly submit to it. All right, so that basically gets us through year one of of our little thing here. Let's see, the night before the new season, a whisper cresses your dreams. My most beloved, you struggle so pleasingly. Encourage fervor, burning flames of devotion. Oh, ho, 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 the thieving one, give him to me. And we know who the thief is. All right, village folk are growing content and passive. More fervor is required. Excellent. But that's where we're going to wrap things up for this particular episode. So until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button. And with anything new on the channel, it's always extra special important to leave a comment to let me know what you're thinking. And I will see you all in the next video.